a huge mood to the herd and welcome to episode six of our omni factory playthrough so between episodes i did a load more mining uh got some more all that i think we'll need later we've made up some more iron ingots and raw iron and copper i've also crafted up some circuits and some machine holes and various plates and wires that we may need for later so the plan for today is to build a load more machines, see if we crack through a few quests, plus a couple of machines that aren't actually on the quest list yet, but um, I think will be useful. So my goal in this episode is to replace as many hand tools as possible. So to that end, we're going to make a basic macerator, which means we no longer need to use the mortar uh, a lathe so we don't need to use the file to make uh, rods and we can also use it to make screws a polarizer so we don't have to burn through uh, redstone every time we want to magnetize uh, any of the iron rods for motors a fluid extractor which is quite useful in combination with the solidifier and a mold so we can then make gears so at the moment it takes about eight ingots of whatever metal we're making plus a screwdriver to make a gear. With the fluid extractor and the solidifier, we can make gears using four ingots. So that makes things significantly cheaper again. So let's get started. We'll get the macerator done first. I already loaded this up into my calculator and this is the stuff we need. So first things first is I'm gonna take the whole and primitive circuits out and probably a stack of plates and see we get a significant reduction in the resources we require i'm also going to take a stack of rubber plates out so all i'd need now is nine iron is it for raw time so six raw time so let's take six raw iron three iron Uh, some redstone, tin, and finally copper. Alright, I need six iron rods. Get my file on me. Good, I do. Oh, I've got the lathe recipe in there. So let's take another. Let's do six iron rods. Two copper wire, I actually have copper wire on me, so I can pop a copper and go back. Six wrought iron rods. Got tin wire as well. I do. So the tin can go. So two magnetic iron rods. Eight fine copper wire, I know I have that as well. Right, so let's uh, mix up a proper wrought iron gear. So for that, I need one, two, three, four of these. Four of these, and one of those. Some tin cable, so I need, how many is that? Nine tin cable, yeah. Saw. Okay, so that's four plates plus all the tools. Uh, a couple of motors. piston and finally our macerator 
done. What I'm going to do is take that and uh, pickaxe I made. We're just going to run our machines along here. I made up some 4x conductive iron wire earlier as well, just so we've got space. Now, I'm sure this is obvious to everyone, but it wasn't until I was doing it between episodes that I realized that if you've got no batteries in a CEF, it outputs all of its power and all of its amps. But if you put batteries in, you're, only, you're restricted to the amount of amps um, per battery. So if you put one battery in, you only get one amp out. So you can only put, effectively power one one amp machine. If you put four batteries in and they're empty, you have the same restriction. Now, as I say that, it's completely obvious, but I was sitting there yesterday between episodes going, why are none of my machines working? So something to bear in mind if you're a bit slow on the uptake like me. Right, so let's drop our macerator in. Alright, so that's the mortar taken care of. Right, next one on our list is the lathe. Okay, so what do we need for our lathe? We need a diamond. I have a diamond. We need to get some more diamonds. Uh, iron ingots, which is actually going to be wrought iron. as well but it's probably going to be six if it's rods yes it is and some redstone okay let's get started so again we'll need six iron rods six wrought iron rods Two magnetic iron rods, not the raw time. Some tin cable. actually making the lathe. A screwdriver in there. Motors again. So one of the things I will do after I've made all these machines up is to batch craft pistons, motors and pumps. So Again, we've got a stock of those. It should speed up the crafting no end. Right, so that's our basic lathe. Now, there isn't a quest for this until MV, but considering we can go through files making rods up and we can also use the lathe to make screws. So it takes two bolts to make a screw at the moment. Uh, so that's one rod, gets cut in half, two bolts, two bolts is one um, screw. With a lathe, one ingot, equals two rods and then one bolt equals one screw so again there's a efficiency increase there so next on our list the polarizer one iron ingot yeah and now I have the lathe I can actually start using it to make Rods. So I need two tin cable, and two iron rods, so let's put our iron and get in our freshly crafted lathe. As you can see, there's two iron rods from one, four 2x tin wire, And 
then our polarizer. So another machine again. This is um, in the next page of question. It's in the uh, early game one. It's just down here. Um, I just think it's worth getting at the moment, especially if I'm making a load of motors rather than burning through all that redstone. So that leaves our final two machines, which is the fluid extractor, which as you can see, we need a fair amount of stuff. So we need some sand. We need some tin dust. So let me grab some tin dust and put this through our macerator. Nine tin ingots. Uh, what else do we need? We need to make a knife. So, what's the recipe for a knife? Piece of flint and a stick. Uh, I think I've got some flint. I've got a stick, definitely. Do I have any flint? No, I don't. All right, what's the other recipes then? So it's just a plate and a rod. Okay, so we can do that. We'll make it a raw time. Um, actually, we don't even need to make the plates because I have plenty of them. some sugar cane. I've got plenty of that. And I'm not going to use the redstone because I don't need it. But I will take the copper unless... No, that's for making bronze. That's fine. So six copper. Right, so three tin rods. So I need a couple of that. And now a lathe. Got the raw iron already, so I don't need the iron. We need six iron rods after that. And meanwhile, bronze, which is a new recipe, is three copper ingots and one tin dust gives us four bronze, and we need eight. So two, six, and we'll let that do it. This thing. So there's my tin rods, and now, how many iron rods did I need? Six. Right, I'm gonna need to get my saw. So I have that on me already? I don't, so there's my saw. So the, the what two machines at the moment we can't, well, we won't be building is the assembler which allows me to replace the wrench in recipes and do a whole host of more uh, additional things and the extruder um, which is an MV tier machine which allows me to make bolts and rings uh, for the pumps etc um, again the as I said the extruders MV tier and we're not quite there yet Right, so I should have my bronze, I do. So I need to make four tin bolts. So that is two tin. So take our saw and turn that. Actually, is it four tin bolts I need? Yeah, it is four tin bolts. A terrible memory. Right, four tin bolts. 
So our five right raw iron rods, which again is going to be three of those. Actually, I already have, uh, actually probably it will have extracted, so I probably need six raw iron rods. I do. Uh, so magnetic iron rods, now we can use our polarizer for the first time. So if we take our two iron rods and stick them through our polarizer, see, no redstone required. Uh, what else do we need? So we're doing our raw iron. We need some tin cable, nine of those. And we need some bronze plates, six of them. So we'll use our compressor and run six plates through. Some paper, that's just simply this. A tin ring. Another use for the extruder. I better tidy my inventory up. Thank you. Uh, so we need our hammer and a tin rod. Let's make a tin rod ring. What's the. Right, we need to make some glass. So I'm going to shove that in there for now. Right, so is it just the one tin ring? It is. Perfect. that up. I also want two tin screws which means I can take our oh, really need to sort my inventory. I throw that down there. Should pick it up in a second and put it in my backpack. Right if I take my bolts that gives me two spares so I'm not going to be using those so I'll put that in our components chest that gives me my screws uh, what else do we need what time gear I clear out a bit of space so let's take out where are my raw light oh there they are still I did make wrought iron gear, didn't I? I thought I had. I did, I just threw them away and popped them in here. So let's put that stick in there for the time being. So on to Two, three, four. Four plates. One screwdriver. Gives me my raw tie gear. Now I need some paper rings, and that's relatively easy now. I've got the knife because it's just knife, paper, and we'll make a full stack of those up. Or not a full stack, three of them up. Right, electric motors. Let's make, how many do I need? Two, let's make two electric motors up. And then one piston. And then we need to make a tin rotor. So go to my fluid extractor. I'm missing my tin plates. Should. I should have made earlier, but I didn't. Well, I did. They're here. So let's get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. And let's grab our tin plates. And make up our tin rotor. And then make a pump. Oh, I need to make my bronze pipe section first. Okay. That's where I've got my bronze in my bag for. Done. 
done. Now I should be able to make up my pump. Done, and close the inventory because that's a quest. Grab my glass and make my fluid extractor. Finally. And we'll drop you right here. And finally, in that quest list, basic solidifier. So many things to make here. So I need six iron rods. Get that made up. And five tin rods. So that's number three, but not in the macerator. again. Tin on me, so drop some of that in the macerator. And how much copper do I need? Three. And I need four bronze ingots, so we may as well get that Two magnetic iron rods. And my tin rods should be done, they are. So eight tin bolts, so that's four rods. Eight tin cable. Tin rings, four tin screws. We can drop those into the lathe. What I can then do is just pop that in there for the time being. as well. We do, I just need to clear some space again. Uh, what can we put away? Let's pop what does this need? We need the chips pumps is basically what I'm making at the moment so Let's get rid of the file. We we'll need the screwdriver. Don't need the wire cutters. We need. We don't need the saw because we've done all the cutting for that. Right. A bit more space. Grab the bronze. Eight tin plates, which I have. Six bronze plates. Okay, so let's make those up. Three paper. And turn that paper into paper rings. And then I want two motors. Should have enough stuff for the two motors. I do. Two tin rotors. Will I have enough for that? I wonder. Let's find out. Only my file back. It'd be great to get the assembler recipe for this one, I think. Especially as this, because of the MBT data on the tools, 
means it doesn't stack them in properly. Is that two? Yep. So that's my two tin rotors. Just a piece of glass now. Finally a chest. I should have enough wood to make one of these. Perfect. And the last thing we're going to make is, if I go back to our question, is some molds. Now we need empty shape blank, and for that we need steel plates. So in anticipation, I made a lot of steel plates up. So we need that and that. and make our oh my little hammer's broken already but it lasted a lot longer than I anticipated it would so let's just make quickly up another one Also asks us to make up a mould block, which is hammer to the left, and a mould gear, which is hammer to the right. So, put two in. I'll do block, gear. And the other one I want is small gear, which is that there. So now, if I go into my fluid solidifier, I can take my gear, I could put, say, four wrought iron ingots in to my fluid extractor. straight into this one and get gears from four ingots and the other great thing is storing these gears is relatively easy because draconic evolutions installed so if I press P I can just stick them to the front of my machine so I think we'll wrap the episode up there today we've made a fair amount of progress in terms of machines we've got I'd say the basics for ramping up our production lines in place now so if you like this episode feel free to give it a like if you'd like to see more of these episodes please feel free to subscribe until the next episode i wish you a very pleasant day